thing I need to be kind my heart I need to say good words I heard one man and it's a fact I'm a counselor myself you know we try to help as many as we can but once there was a problem between certain people and you know our mothers are really good people they don't mean to interfere but sometimes there's a generation gap so a generation gap means you know when there's more than 30 40 years gap between people they don't understand each other properly you know so sometimes when they don't they they say things and the other one hasn't understood and she will say things and the mother hasn't understood and so on so there was a problem and to be honest with you the mother was more wrong in that particular case that i was dealing with and the man says listen a mother i will I, I will never replace but a wife there are dozens outside waiting to marry me i looked at him and i said do you fear allah do you fear allah do you want to be with the same mother in jannah subhanallah if that's the case if she, your statement is correct technically speaking but as a muslim you should not be saying that because your mother is irreplaceable that does not make it such that when she's wrong that wrong is also irreplaceable. You can replace the wrong with right. Tell her, my mom, I love you. I can't replace you. You are my mother. Allah chose you for me. You are a test for me. But my beloved mother, do you know what? In this instance, you were wrong. Or get someone like me to tell your mother that, you know what? You are wrong. Really? Get a scholar. Get someone else whom she respects to correct her. And I've been and I've done this in certain homes where you, in, you tell the person, look, this is the problem. Please let your daughter live or let your son live without interfering, so to speak. And sometimes my young spouses, it's not interference. It is guidance. We mix the two up. They are guiding you. Like we said, it's their duty to guide you. If your mother sees you as a, a, a man, you were a good man, used to get up for Salatul Fajr, read Quran. Now that you're married, everything stopped. She has every right. In fact, it's her duty as married as you are and as many children as you may have. It's her duty to tell you, listen, my son, you will get up for salah. You will. But she mustn't say, and this is a mistake many women make. Ever since you got married, that woman, I don't know what she does to you at night. You can't even get up for salah. Mom, you know what we do at night. Come on. <laughs> it's not like it's haram. I don't have to be shy about it. May Allah forgive us, really. Imagine, I've heard this happening. You know, they come any small thing. Son has a bad habit. When my son was single, he never had that bad habit. Now that he's with you, bad habits are coming in. Allahu Akbar. May Allah forgive us. If those are words that are cutting, those are remarks that are unwarranted. Those are remarks that are not correct. A Muslim should not be saying that. You make dua for your son. Oh Allah, guide my son. Oh Allah, help my child. Allahu Akbar. Oh Allah, help me create a love between me and my daughter-in-law. Make the dua. Oh Allah, help us. Like this, anything goes wrong. You know, the mother, the nose is twitching sometimes. May Allah protect all our mothers. The wrong thing would be for her to say, I think my daughter-in-law is doing some magic on me. My nose is twitching. <laughs> Your nose is twitching. Big deal. My nose twitches. No one did anything on you. It's just a little, perhaps blood circulation, something wrong, something here, there. It's normal. You, everyone's nose twitches once in a while. You know. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Don't think negative. You want that not to be intact. Don't think negative. Think positive. That is the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has tested you through that. So this is why we say, learn to respect one another. Become role models for your own children. Learn to stand up for your spouse when someone is wrong, whether it's in your home or out of your home. Don't allow them to be trampled by anyone and everyone. And never ever think that your spouse is an unpaid maid. A lot of people happy you're getting married oh we're gonna have good food here hey mashallah oh is she just a cook if she likes to do it and she doesn't mind alhamdulillah mashallah what a wife alhamdulillah may allah bless us beautiful but you can't just say guys no more worries all my friends every night you can come home no problem who who's gonna prepare my wife your wife is not married to your friends my brothers your wife is your spouse yes she may want to spoil you but remember she's a human being not a machine the same applies to your husband, my beloved sisters. He's not a machine. He is a human being. He will falter. He will make mistakes. You know, I normally tell people that when you want to know everything about your spouse, the knot will break. Listen to what I just said. People say, I want to know every detail. You are not Allah. My answerability is not to you. I swear I have come across instances where a man or a woman have faulted in life a big mistake the spouse did not know they came crying to the scholars or to the masjid and they repented and they became better people and you think to yourself 
The spouse didn't know. That's why they are really, really happy because the man has become a better person than he was before the mistake he made. But if the spouse found out, environment teaches the spouse to say, husband made a mistake, kick him out. So now she is depressed. He is depressed. And what happened? It was a mistake between him and Allah. It had nothing to do with you. So you say, I want to know every detail. I want to know every detail. Tell me. MashaAllah. You know, if she's standing with her hands on her hips, it's okay. Some would be standing with a stick. May Allah help. And vice versa, the men are doing it as well. You don't need to know every detail. The sin sometimes is between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't need to really, sometimes they will turn to Allah. If your spouse turns and leaves a bad habit because of you, they might get back into it. But if they've left the bad habit because of Allah, the chances of them getting back to it are very small because they did it for the sake of Allah.